Hi folks, um, I'm taking a look at my spare PC system, and more specifically the cooler on it, the uh, Zywood Vivo. I haven't done any work on this computer for a while, but I'm conscious that this Zywood Vivo is a good cooler, but it's a real pain to kind of take on and off. Um, that plastic shroud gets in the way, it falls apart, it's just really difficult to do anything with. So I just wondered if there's a way of kind of operating it with one fan and, and um, without the plastic shroud. I think it should work, so that's what we're going to look at today. So I've taken off the, the plastic shroud, as you can see, it falls apart pretty much easily once you remove the four screws. And this is what the cooler looks like. Interestingly enough, Zygmatec do um, this cooler in a 120mm size, a bigger version. It doesn't have the shroud, just has a fan, so I think it should work. I'm thinking of using these to attach the fan. These are just uh, large paper clips straightened out and they should just fit in between the fins so the idea is to kind of bend them over. Might have to put a bit of tape on them just to make them a bit thicker. So um, that's my idea. We'll see if it works. Well, it didn't work. But what I've done instead is I've pushed the pins from top to bottom through, the, uh, through these holes that run right through the middle and then uh, bent them round and then bent them over through the holes in the fan as you can see and that really works well in fact that holds the fan on very securely you see very little movement in that at all and there's also a nice gap there as well so there shouldn't be any vibration so with the power on this is it up and running and um, all powered up fine no problems um, doesn't sound too loud in fact it's obviously a little bit quieter um, because we're not running two fans so we need to see how the temps are doing on this system. Okay, so I've just gone into the BIOS. 27 degrees, up to 28. The important thing is the temperature isn't suddenly shooting upwards. So that suggests that the cooler is in place properly and that it's also doing the job it's supposed to be doing. The question of course is, is it any better like this? Um, or how much worse is it? One might expect that removing the shroud and having another one fan is not going to be as good. To booting into Windows and having a look at some speed fan, we can see the temperature is 35 degrees, so there is some CPU usage at the moment. Um, as I recall, the system did used to idle in the early 30s, late 20s, so that's not too far off really. But I wouldn't have said the system was idling at the moment, and the temperature is not warm in here, but it's not cold, it's quite comfortable. Um, best thing to do is probably to run Prime 95, get that CPU under stress, and then see if um, if we get good temperatures. If we get anything below 50 degrees, I'll be happy because under Prime 95, it used to run well under 50, de uh, 50 degrees C. So we've been running Prime 95 now for about four or five minutes. CPU temperatures up to 47 degrees. And usually, when you run Prime 95, you get a, a, a big jump as you start to use it, and then it tends to level off. I've also got this side panel back on the case, so we've got the case airflow working as well, and the fans, as you can see, just on blue, so that means the fans are on 7 volts, not on 12. So we've got a bit of headroom, but it's staying pretty stable, around 47 degrees. Okay, it's been running for some time now, 15, 20 minutes, and it hasn't shifted. 47 degrees is where it stayed under Prime 95. I consider that to be a bit of a result, actually, and that suggests that it's certainly no worse. In fact, it's slightly better running it without the shroud. So there we go, a quick mod and a good result.